Hey guys, Greg with BTOD TV and BTOD.com. In today's stability test, we're gonna be taking a closer look at the Facebo Electric Standing Desk. This is one of the more popular products on Amazon.com. Now, if you haven't had a chance to watch our stability test before, we like to look at the stability of a standing desk at different heights with different weights applied to the surface. If you'd like to learn more why we selected those weights and heights, I highly recommend you check out the link in the top right hand corner, which talks about standing desk stability testing explained. With that, let's go ahead and jump into the test. Before we go ahead and show you the first test, let's talk about a couple things. Number one is the setup. As you can see, we do have three center blocks plus a smaller dumbbell and the weight of the surface to hit that first 100 pound mark. This desk has a range of about 28 and a half to a little bit over 46 inches. So we're gonna be looking at both the bottom and the max height and two heights in between as we check the left to right wobble and the front to back rocking motions. With that, let's go ahead and get started with our first test. So again, we're at the bottom height here, just a little bit over 28 inches. We're gonna check to see wobble first. And you can see at the bottom with the facebo, it isn't good. We'll just say that. There's motion for sure back and you know, front to back and left to right. That's not gonna bode well as we jump up to the next height, which is going to be 39 inches. 39 inches is the average standing height for the average height female in the United States, which is about 5'4". So now, not good. The Facebo is just lightweight, doesn't have really good stability through the frame. I mean, it's just, it's not good. We're gonna jump up to 42 and a half and it's gonna unfortunately get progressively worse. There's a ton of play in the columns. The frame itself really doesn't have any weight or substance to it. The connection to the surface isn't great either. And so, you know, what does that all mean? Poor stability pretty much throughout. You know, this is another one of those desks that easily hops around on the ground. And because it is a lightweight sort of home use product, expectations have to remain fairly low for it. Now at the max height with this weight on here, you can see it's, it's really bad. I mean, it is. It is the worst desk that I have personally tested ever. I mean, if that doesn't tell you exactly what you need to know, there it is. One push, the whole thing is moving around. So that's at 100 pounds. We're going to take it up to its max capacity. We'll show you what that looks like. It's going to look probably very similar or worse, but let's go take a look. For our final test, we have the Facebo maxed out at 149 pounds. Now this product is pretty unique in that it has a dynamic capacity, which is 149, and then it has a static capacity, which is just over 170 pounds. Now with this much weight on it, and you saw what it looked like before, you know, I really wouldn't highly recommend putting more than this, even though it's, you know, the static load is a bit more. I think this is plenty for this particular frame I'd be concerned with, especially how it connects in the surface. And you're gonna see that here as, as we test this. Um, but you know, this is, this is probably where I'd keep this desk at if you were gonna use it as maxing it out at about 150 pounds. So at the bottom, we'll check the wobble first. And you can see, you know, at the bottom, there's not a lot of desks that you can do that with. Um, very few. Wobble is probably the worst. The rocking isn't quite as bad at the bottom height. We'll take it up to 39 and we'll see what it looks like there. It's gonna take a little bit to get there. It's not very fast and it has a lot of weight on it here, so. Now at the 39 mark, you can see, I mean, there's a, you can really get it going every different direction. A ton of movement here. Um, you know, and I don't necessarily wanna to push too hard on it either because the the, Thickness of the surface with the length of the screws and all the weight on there, that's a concern of mine because the way it's holding into the surface with all this weight on there, they're, the screws are bound to pull and release from the surface. So that's something to definitely consider if you're getting this desk and planning to put 
somewhere near 150 pounds on there. If you really lean into the desk, I'm not sure how that would go. But you can tell this is, this is one of those desks where it's definitely a concern getting this much weight up high for me personally. You can really hear those feet moving around. You can see the desk jumping around. We'll go up to the max height. Not, I mean, that's just not good. So, what do I think for stability on the Facebo product? It's not good. I mean, it's probably the worst desk that I've tested for stability out of all of the desks that I've tested in the past four years. If you've been following our channel or following the Learning Center, and I've seen quite a few, this is of the cheap desks, the commercial grade, this is just the, it's definitely the worst desk that I've tested. And I highly recommend checking out the SHW video that we did because that's another inexpensive product where the frame is quite a bit more robust than this one. And I don't think that one's great either. Um, if we were to kind of group these into the three most popular on Amazon, which is like the FlexiSpot EC1, the Fazebo, and the SHW, this is hands down the worst out of all of them. And I think if you're concerned with stability, you really need to con consider this as an option that maybe you want to avoid. Again, it's personal preference and the things that you necessarily need are gonna be different than what I need or someone else, but I think you can tell from the video today that it didn't do great for stability. So. Hopefully the video was helpful. If it was, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our standing desk content. Thanks a lot for watching.